Oh no, the computer's on fire. It's okay, it's only a Mac. Hey guys, we are going to be looking at columns in Microsoft Word. Probably like one of the easiest things that you can do, but it does have one or two little things that can confuse you and cause some problems. So I'm going to help you so you don't run into these problems. Now, first of all, we're going to start off here. And as you can see, I've started with some just random text just so that we can fill up the stuff. But it has a certain flavor to it, okay? A spicy jalapeno bacon, ipsum dolor amet, it's a, I don't know, it's, it's Latin, okay? But some of it's not. Anyway, moving on. So the first basic column setup or column structure is one column. And well, uh, congratulations, it already is one column. Okay, have a look here. I'm going to go to layout, click on layout and columns. It's in my page setup group, columns, one column. So by default, when you start a new document, for example, everything is in one column. So hey, <laughs> one column. 20 points, there you go, easy peasy. So let's move on, okay? I'm not gonna waste time on that. Now, two columns. Now, let me explain to you how we can do this. There's two ways of doing this. The one is to set your columns first and then put the content into the columns, but the better way, the easier way, and the more successful way is to select the content that you want to have in columns first. I'll say that again. Select the content that you would like to have in columns first, then apply the column. Bzz, columns. Watch. So let's say I would like to have all of this text. Here I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Ha! Ah, come back. I'm going to zoom. Oh, darn, went to the wrong page. I'm going to go here. Okay, two columns. So I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five paragraphs, and I want those five paragraphs to be in two columns on my A4 uh, portrait page. All right, so this is what we do. We're going to select the paragraphs. Just click and highlight. There you go. Done. Okay, and then I'm going to go I'm here in layout. I'm going to go to columns and say two columns. Two columns. Click two columns done now have a look at what has happened yes i have two columns now beautiful and you will notice in my ruler which you should always have on okay the ruler is like your best friend here have a look you can actually see your two columns and there are the measurements there's your border between them as well okay and your margins there it's all here it's all there it's beautiful so there i have two columns easy peasy okay if you were trying to do this like before, okay, watch this, and I, I, I'm going to go and show you how you can easily mess this up, all right? So I'm going to go in like my first paragraph, and I go, okay, cool, I want two columns, two columns, great, and then you're like, what the, and now everything is all over the place, and it's gone, and made it down to the next page as well. The whole of my document is now two columns. Let's go look at the top. Ah, oh, even the first one, okay. It's a problem, okay? I'm going to undo that because that was nasty. All right, so please don't do that. Select what you want in two columns first, then put it into two columns. So click, highlight, layout, columns, two, beautiful. We're going to come back to that because I'm going to show you what the column break does, okay? Here's a, an alternative, two columns alternative on the next page. And what I mean by that is some of it's going to be in one column and some of it's going to be in two columns. All right, so let me show you what I mean. So let's say, um, hmm, let's say these two paragraphs are going to be in one column just as they are right now, and then the rest of the text is going to be in two columns. It's so easy, guys. Again, just select what you would like to have in two columns. All right, so there I've selected it, columns two. It couldn't be any easier than that, okay? It, maybe it could be, but that's the only way I know, so that's the easiest I know. All right, so, um, yes. Now let me explain to you how the column break works, all right? And then we'll do three columns. So let's go back to page two, just very quickly, page two here. And let's say, just for example, that spare ribs, okay, spare ribs, and I'm going to make it bold as well. We're going to, spare ribs is bold, a little bit bigger. All right. So let's say, for example, that a spare ribs needs to actually start at the top of the next column. Like it just has to. Okay, It's like the rule of spare rib typology. Now, what the ordinary person does, you know, those people who didn't do cat at school, they go like this. They go, oh, okay, that's so easy, man. 
enter, 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 and they just keep pressing enter till they eventually get it there. And yes, initially it looks correct, okay, but if I go and switch on this show and hide formatting over here, okay, you can see I've got a lot of enters happening here and watch what happens okay if I go and I type in something here and I press enter again have a look now okay oh I'll do it again and again do you notice what's happening okay look it's moving down now it's not staying at the top it's becoming really really messed up we don't want that we don't want that I'm gonna undo 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 control Z remember control Z undo now let's go back to where we were I would like to put spare ribs at the top of the next column and that is where in layout here we have got breaks okay this you're gonna love click on breaks and have a look here there's a thing called a column break have a look carefully look closely at this icon look what it does it's got a little red there a line going up and an arrow in other words stop here and move everything to the top of the next column that's what that means that's what a column break does so let me show you what it what it looks like so in front of the word spare for spare ribs I'm gonna go to breaks column break and have a look I've still got my show and hide formatting on for a reason it says column break it makes a break and then it takes that spare ribs to the top I'm getting hungry <laughs> to the top of the next column okay that's what a column break does all right, so let's put that into action into uh, another page. So set off, scroll down, <laughs> three columns, three columns, okay, and we're going to put a line between each of them. So here, I'm going to take and uh, my mouse, select everything, great, layout, columns, three columns, nice, nice, it's looking like a newspaper. Uh, you know what? Just justify that so it looks really like a newspaper. Cool. Okay, now you know how they do magazines and newspapers, columns and justified text. So let's see now. I've got uh, Dolore e Prosciutto. I think Prosciutto is really nice, actually. Make that a paragraph there. I'm going to put Dolore at the top of the next column, okay? So we're going to do a break, column break. Yep, there's Dolore. And then you know what? Let's take SAX non silum. I can speak Latin, it's so easy. And uh, just put another column break there as well. Nice. You, do you see how you can control where or what goes to the top of the next column? Just with a column break. Now, remember, I told you about the, the lines between the columns. You'll probably get asked this in exams anyway. So, here it is. Here we go to columns. We know we got three columns already. Go to more columns, and here are all my options. Yeah, I can see the number of columns is three, and there is a line between the columns. I'm going to enable that, okay, and I can also. Uh, specify the width of the columns I can specify the spacing between the columns as well so there's actually quite a lot just explore explore and see what you could do okay there's the line I'm click OK and look at that I have a lovely lovely line between each paragraph each paragraph each column sorry about that yeah okay I think that kind of makes sense so with columns the secret is First, select what you want to put into columns, then apply the columns. Okay, so create the content, then select it, then apply the columns. Columns. No, I don't mean those. I'm going to start again because this is really bad. I'm going to start this again. Oh, yeah.